What up, guys? Your boy Quake, and it's dissing season. I don't know what's going on, but since the Drake and Kendrick Lamar thing, everybody has been dissing everybody. Uh, Gucci Mane dropped the track dissing. Diddy called No Diddy. Well, there's a response to that, and 50 is getting a response, and it's from Diddy's son, King Combs, a.k.a. Christian Combs. Yes, he's gotten on track and decided to diss 50, the FBI, which is not the most uh, smart thing to do. Gucci Mane. And anybody else who has anything to say about his father and Sean and everybody in the Combs family in whole. And the diss track is fairly simple, man. Uh, There isn't even a title for it. He just gave it to academics to premiere. So there really isn't any lyrics to really break down here. The gist of the song is, hey, we're rich, we're successful, you guys are jealous of us, and we don't care that you guys hate us. That's really the gist of it. He throws in some things about 50 Bars are pretty subpar. I mean, he has some wordplay on Eminem. You know, uh, we're focused on these M&Ms and uh, who was putting the city on when all they had was 50 Cent, blah, 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 blah. These type of little, you know, worky, you know, quirky little lines. Pretty cool. The beat was pretty nice. But, you know, ultimately, I this is the wrong thing to be doing when, uh, you know, your house is getting raided and your father's under a huge microscope. Uh, he says some lines in it that are very questionable that, he alludes to, uh, you know, there's a house that we had that you guys don't know about that you guys didn't raid, which is probably one of the worst things you can say in these type of situations. If anything, it just makes things worse. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous so far. But let's go over the track and let's go over, uh, you know, what 50 Cent had to say about it. Police raid the crib like they think we selling crack, we but we that. out here selling tracks, multi-million dollar plaques, rather put this shit on wax, all that gossip shit is whack, when all they had was 50 cent, who put this city on the map, stop lying, pops been hated on by many men, and nigga that's fine, they gon' try to stop these Eminems, and they gon' die trying, pull up to the south side, we locked in, we got ties, don't yeah. count bandos in my Gucci sandals, these niggas is sick, probably hating cause we rich, he must think we fucked this bitch, Knock them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran in both our cribs Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door Cause that's the one they miss How y'all talking like a nigga time up Don't shake, get your shines up Going on his Instagram page, he posted quite a few things And he's actually taken up for Tupac Which is really, really uh, That's kind of the stance he's, he's taken in this Is you allegedly had a part in getting Tupac killed So, you know, I'm gonna be the one that finishes you off for Tupac so 50 posted a photo of Diddy and his son, King Combs, dancing uh, with the shiny suits, you know, like mace. Uh, and then the caption, he said, and this is trolling in 50 fashion. He says, I feel so threatened by the things Christian is saying. By the way, Christian Combs is, a.k.a. King Combs, uh, is saying on his record, I'm afraid for my life. Please don't hurt me, guys. <laughs> I never mentioned or posted anything about Puffy's kids. Uh, with the emoji looking like in shock. Because Keefe D said he killed Tupac. LOL. See, he's going to double down that Tupac thing. And that is true, man. He never he never said anything about Diddy's kid. So the fact that his kid is, is, is taken up for Diddy is weird. 50 then followed up that Instagram post with a video clip of Bishop, a.k.a. Tupac and Juice, uh, you know, staring down Q in the movie. Uh, and then he just said no caption needed Karma saying, hey, this is the karma for what you did to Tupac. You know, he's doubling down on the Tupac thing and, you know, the theory that, you know, Diddy got Tupac killed, which, by the way, shameless plug, I am working on the documentary called Diddy One Million Dollar Hit. It is a documentary focusing on if Diddy actually put the hit out for Tupac because a lot of that needs to get cleared up and a lot of information out there is misleading. So breaking that down, that's going to be out pretty, pretty soon here. Then 50 in the third post on Instagram posted a video of the actual diss track. But in there, there's like a, a slideshow of images. And it shows uh, the lawsuit that King Combs is going through. So if you guys remember, Diddy was going through a bunch of his lawsuits. And then King Combs, his son, was going through his own lawsuit. And in this lawsuit, there was a steward stewardess that was working on the yacht who alleged in the lawsuit uh, that... Christian, a.k.a. King Combs, forced her to take a spiked shot of tequila, groped her, and then assaulted her, according to court documents. So 50 posted it in the caption. He said, damn, King Combs, that's what you told Grace, which is the lady that accused on that boat, huh? 
gave her the puffy juice with that special sauce in it. LOL, boy, oh boy, bad boy for life. Basically doubling down that, hey, these guys are, you know, sexual assault people. All of them, the kids. And, I mean, I don't understand why you would go at 50. Like, 50's going to nonstop go at you. He was he was taking his foot off of Diddy's neck for a little bit because of all this beef going on. But now he's just going to full-fledged. I want to be surprised by the time I'm done posting this podcast video and everything, uh, there's going to be more posts about it. So, uh, interesting, man. The diss track is interesting. And the diss track, uh, you know, he's clowning 50. You know, and just saying, hey, we're rich. We got it. You don't got it. We got it. We're, we're bad boys. Y'all just jealous because we're on top. And then he even alludes, man. It's kind of crazy. The fact that in the track he alludes that they had a secret house where potentially all the the stuff was stashed at. He says they raided both of our house, but they didn't realize we bought one of the houses that was next door. Why would you say that on the track? That's just going to it's gonna cause more problems. Did he not go through Diddy at all when it comes to this track? I'm confused. Why would you say that on the track? That's going to cause more problems for you and Diddy and your dad, basically. So, yeah, we'll keep our eyes posted, man. It was a whack diss track. Uh, the beat was nice. I like the beat. But overall, uh, not, a, not a good thing to do when, you're, when you're, your house is getting raided by the feds. The worst thing to do. You must be very confident in the fact that maybe Diddy won't go down. Because if you do that, you got to have some type of confidence in the situation. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe you know, the feds ain't found anything. I don't know. It's been about... Yeah, it's been, when did they get raided? About the end of March? It's been a month and a half, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens as time goes on. But, yeah, that was the diss track, man. Uh, King Combs dissing 50 and anybody else who has anything to say about his dad, Diddy. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.